Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. It's Scott back here with another quick tip. Today we're going to be looking at internal threading on the turning side of Invent HSM. For new users it can be a little bit confusing, so let's show you how it's done. Jump into the tool library, create a new turning tool. The first thing we need to do is make sure we get all of our offsets correct. And we need to switch it over to a threading insert type. I'm going to be using an ISO triangular full profile with a 2mm thread pitch and a 16mm overall length. Now I only want to see this holder on the center line, um, so I'm not interested in having any thickness here, so I'm going to set that to 0.1 and do the same thing for the uh, the shank height here, 0.1. Okay. Now here's the key thing, you have to pick the face threading style and set the setup to an orientation of 90 degrees. Once you've done all these things, you're good to go with internal threading. So let's have a look at the result. Select thread from the turning panel on the ribbon. Choose the tool we've just created. So I chose number six. And then we have to make sure we set the mode to inside threading. And then pick the face we want to thread. And straight away we can see we've got some good results here. Now I'm just going to switch into a different view rep here so that we can have a look clearly what's going on on the inside and we really need to sort out our kind of clearance plane here so we'll edit our radiuses and change our clearance to selection minus one and we'll just pick that face and there we have it click OK let's simulate that have a look at our results there we go Internal threading, super easy once you know how. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found that helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions or comments, fire away down below. Cheers. Bye.